I'm um, organizing, everybody knows me, leading demonstrations, doing different things around the city. And one of the white guys who I work with said, man, I know you must be feeling pretty good today. So I said, why must I be feeling good? He said, oh, Uncle Tom got killed. So I said, which Uncle Tom is that? He said, Dr. King. Mm. And with that, you know, I decked him. And uh, that time he had almost no violence in the, in the camp. I took a, I did something I shouldn't have done, obviously. Uh, I took a telephone and educated him on the different aspects of the telephone head device. Okay. So, Conrad. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> at that time, and generally, yeah. no time. Yeah. Assault in the workplace right. is uh, <laughs> it's probably a fireable offense, as you uh, yeah. as you learned a lot about personnel in uh, HR. Yeah. So what happened? <laughs> generally, immediate dismissal. Conrad Mallet, senior, <laughs> came to my defense because he was he was executive assistant, mm. and once we told the whole story as to what happened, mm-hmm. he said, "Well." Um, he said he could live with me, uh, let me resign, live with me not working there anymore, but he wanted no penalties against me whatsoever. Mm-hmm. 70s. What was it, if you had to like give the work you were doing in the 70s, if you had to s- surmise mm-hmm. that closely, what lesson did you learn and, and what was happening with Black Detroit then? Well, we were recuperating from the rebellion. Most people don't really understand how much we lost the rebellion. See, I consider the rebellion a failure. I don't consider, I don't celebrate the rebellion what a lot of people did. A lot of people lost their lives. People lost their homes. People lost their businesses. Um, it changed an awful lot about the city. I think the good thing that happened is that much of what had been done in the 60s began to show some fruit, and that fruit resulted in the election of Coleman Young as the mayor of the city. And that also positively changed many things. Mm -hmm. Um, And now people are just starting to realize um, what an absolutely great mayor Coleman was. Uh, But um, Coleman's um, hiring of people, you know, 50-50, his uh, determination to uh, uh, end police brutality, uh, his fighting to bring uh, black police officers and firemen to the jobs. There are many, many things that Coleman Young did we've never talked about. So at that time, I got hired by Coleman as an assistant to the mayor. Hmm. And I was in charge of primarily all the neighborhood city halls on the east side. I was a sector leader. So that changed my focus from being Detroit to being the east side of Detroit. 